Welcome back everyone, Gwansi here. Today I have a new tutorial as you guys can see. Uh, first of all, I want to first of all say that this hair that I'm wearing today is Afro wig. Everything you see is braided hair. So I did this whole thing from scratch. You know I love creating wigs and for me taking that time to create something that actually going to be a good result in the end is always beautiful to me i always love to take time to create something so when i put it on or someone puts on my wig it's gonna look super natural you're gonna see in this tutorial how i really took my time to create this video step by step and it's a very beginner friendly i didn't buy any expensive hair to create this look i just went for braided hair and this hair also that I'm going to use for this uh, wig, I think it's actually the best texture if you're going for Afro look. This hair was actually a really good choice for a look like this. So I'm only going to recommend it for you. If you've never made your own wig, your own Afro wig, in this video you will learn how to do it. You will learn step by step. If you are new into wig making, you are going to be needing time to create a wig like this. Mostly for the part, the front section here, the front part where I do have my closure I did everything from scratch so if you're new into wig making you're gonna really learn something but have patience because you know it, it just makes you get better the beginning is gonna always take time but then the more you do it the more you actually gonna grow in doing it faster and everything is gonna be more easier for you to create and it looks super natural it feels super light the hair is so light you only need a crochet hook a wig cap a lace and the hair of course you're gonna need the hair and also needle and thread because I will be sewing the lace on the wig cap which you're gonna see later and then cut the thread so this is it guys this video is super fun to make I just hope you guys enjoy this video so now no before we go to the tutorial I just want to quickly say guys I want to thank you all for your support and of course if you're not subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up share okay you need to share this video because I want more ladies to learn how to do this you have to be able to create your own wigs you have to be able to create your own look because I so y'all as you can see I am sewing the lace on the wake up as usual See the girls them pull up, see the man them turn up, in the yard them a burn up, till the money them a turn up. See the girls them pull up, see the man them turn up, in the yard them a burn up. Now I am going to cut off the excess areas as you can see. So I wanted to have this hair texture because I think it's just the perfect hair, you know, for this afro look that I'm going for. I'm gonna take a little amount of this and I'm gonna take a straw and make sure that I first of all get the straw through this hair and I'm gonna hold it tight and I'm gonna start to twist wrap once I get to the end I'm gonna use a rubber band and just secure the end you can also use bobby pins if you want See the man them turn up In the yard them a burn up Till the money them a turn up See the girls them pull up See the man them turn up In the yard them a burn up Till the money them a turn up I like the way I'm feeling Can't touch this feeling I'm in my feelings Bad man me and my feelings Ain't no bag I can't kiss when I'm moving, nobody can test me. Man, I really can't flex. Them man, them I really can't test me.
So I'm gonna put this in the sink. The entire hair is wet with this hot water. And then I'm gonna leave the hair to dry. Ain't nobody can test. When I'm moving, nobody can test me. Man, I really can't. So now what you see me doing is taking off the rubber bands from the dry hair. Number one, understand man, I put them on the run. Can't understand, never put it on the show on the Ain't nobody can test. When I'm moving, nobody can test me. Man, I really can't flex. Them man, them I really can't test First, me. I have this curl. I'm gonna make sure that I separate it. I'm gonna make sure that I pull it out and separate the cores. I'm gonna cut in the middle with a scissor. Actually, I'm gonna pull the hair, but you still you still feel that bouncy on the hair, okay? You see that? Once I pull it, it bounces. And this is the texture. This is how the whole thing that I've done here looks like. And so I am just going to take this hair now and just continue with the crochet. I'm going to start actually with normal knots, but when I once I get closer to the front pattern, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to like make the knots really smaller. The smallest, but close to that, okay? I want this hair to be really full, so I am really putting hair like in the back. You don't see much space. This is how it looks like. Once you, you separate the hair and pull it, it still has kind of like wavy curly kind of texture inside. So that's why the afro looks really interesting because you have the, the whole texture in that makes it looks really bouncy at the same time, but it's an afro, okay? So I really love this texture here on this hair. My feelings, bad man, me and my feelings. Ain't no bag I can this. When I'm moving, nobody can test me. So I'm gonna use the crochet hook and just hook it through the lace and open the loop, put the hair and open the loop and hook the hair through the lace and after that you're gonna see me tie knots. I'm just gonna go twice with the knots, okay? Because I wanna make sure that it's secured. I might use this wig for a long time because I wouldn't wait at once. I want this week to last really long and so I am just going to make sure that I do the knots as you can see I don't leave too much space because I want a really full wig I want it to be really full guys in the end you guys are really gonna see the result just make sure you watch this video till the end I like the way I'm feeling can touch this feeling I mean my feeling bad man me under my dick I like the way I'm feeling. Can't touch this feeling. I mean, my feelings. Bad man, me and my feelings. Ain't no bag I can test. When I'm moving, nobody can test me. Man, I really can't play. Them man, them I really can't test me. I put it down. Jack a band, them I call me number one. Understand, man, I put them on the run. Can't understand, never put it on the show, on the road. Man, I give them on the go, on the pole. Man, I ringing up the show, on the low. Man, I killing up the show, let them know. Man, I cooking up the flow. I like the way I'm feeling. Can't touch this feeling. I mean, my feelings. Bad man, me, I handle my dinner. Ain't no bag I can test. When I'm moving, nobody can test me. Man, I really can't flex. Them man, them I really can test. I'm going to just continue to do the crochet till I get this pattern here. In the stars, what I see. She had tell me, say her boyfriend, why is he? And now we are on this one side. Like I said, it's going to be a side part, okay? So this is the other side. This is just now in the middle part. So with this side, I am going to continue with the knots but this is gonna be really smaller the amount of hair that i'm using in this pattern is way more thinner than the ones i use in the back so that's why 
uh, you're gonna see the hair this hair is gonna be really full because I want it really full I've never ever make a wig that is this full on my head I just wanted to try something new I want to go for some bold look and I was like you know let me just try something new like the way I'm feeling, can't touch this feeling, I mean my feelings, Batman me and my dealings, ain't no bag I can test, when I'm moving nobody can test me, man I really can't play, them man them I really can't test me, wait, wait I put it down. So for the front section, I'm gonna use this tiny crochet hook you see me holding and I'm gonna do this other side here and make sure that I fill it up like I did on top there and so we are going to first of all I'm going to show you how the wig looks like at the moment this is what it looks like right now but I am making sure that I get the, the line here make sure the hair is more fuller and looks much more better so I am going to go with this tiny crochet hook and hook it through the hair I am taking just two to three strands of hair I think it's okay for this kind of look but you can take as much strands as you want for me i think this is just perfect because you want it to, to look like your skin and i am making sure that i don't take too much i still want it to look natural i want it to look like it's mine and so i am going in with two to three strands and yes so we are close to the final look once i'm done with the closure here the look is actually should be done so keep watching we are closed and you are about to see the final results of this wig, y'all. I tell you, when I say this wig is gorgeous, I don't know how to just say it, but I am loving it right now. I just see it. It looks so natural. It looks like your hair. It, this is just like, like natural hair texture. Okay. You can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. Just create this at home and make sure you, you know, you take your time and to create this it's amazing it's beautiful and once you're done you can really rock this look i can't wait to rock this wig you can see that it's full it's covered and you can see the hair you know like i said it's a side part but with this look you can actually use it for the side for the mid part for you can use it a full head this is the final look guys i am super super happy with this look i am so loving this big wig on my head it's super light guys you can't believe it it's so light it's so bouncy can't touch this feeling i mean my feelings batman me and my dealings ain't no bag i can oh, thank you so much for watching i will see you next week on my next video thank you guys peace out Man, them I really can't test me. Wait, wait, I put it down.